Sadell, I cannot believe this moment is finally here. It's still so surreal. These past five years with you have been so amazing. We've laughed and we cried, but most importantly, we've grown. Now we get to celebrate this moment with our family and friends. I absolutely cannot wait to see what this next chapter has. I love you and I'll see you soon, Mr. Smith. Dear Miss Future Smith, AKA Big Sister Bride, <laughs> just a few more hours before we meet at the altar and declare our lifetime love to the world. And I am prepared for it. Throughout the years, we have been through more than some experienced spouses, and we got through all of them with God as our captain. I am super excited to marry you. Love you, baby. P.S. Don't cry before you walk down the aisle. I love you. Aww. Take thee, Sadell, to be my wedded husband. I, Sadell, take the chastity to be my wedded wife from this, this day, day forward, forward, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, sickness and in health, love and to cherish, death do us far, according to God's holy law. And you, you I, I pledge my love. My life partner, my best friend. Sadell, who knew our friendship would evolve to this very moment? From day one, you've always been my number one fan. You've pushed me every time I wanted to give up. When we first met, you always referred to yourself as Atlas, the Titan who had the world on his shoulders. But since we've grown in this relationship, you've learned that you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders anymore. You have me. We're gonna take on this world together, side by side, hand in hand. You can stand up straight now, because I'm here. I thank God every day that he allowed me to have a God-fearing soulmate, someone that prays for me and with me, someone who is honest and pure, someone that is the true definition of a man. I thank God for your parents and your grandfather who raised you and molded you to grow into this unbelievable man. A man that I, I couldn't even begin to dream of. A man specifically, especially for me. There isn't a fiber in my being. There isn't a cell in my anatomy that doesn't believe 
that you aren't the right one for me. You are the one for me. There'll be times when you feel betrayed by people, by friends, by family at times, and you feel like you can't trust anyone. I vow to always be by your side and remind you that God made all of us as humans to be flawed and to always learn from our mistakes. If you put your trust in God, all things will work out. There's gonna be times where I flat out can't help you. And I understand that, that's reality. That doesn't mean that I won't stop seeking help. That's when I call on the village, what I call them, which is basically everyone that you see in here, as well as those that can make it today. I will use them. And even when they can't get the job done, a prayer always will. I'm about to gain someone who protects my energy, my well-being, and my mental health. I'm about to gain someone who will correct my wrongs and make me a stronger and better man. I've never been more ready any day of my life than now. I love you, Chastity. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put us on. You may kiss your bride. First off, congratulations to the both of you. And I'm not a marriage expert, but I will say to you that as long as you keep God in your marriage, and as long as you, you work things out together and talk and communicate together, God will take you far. Make sure you enjoy this moment, live in the moment, don't rush anything. Just enjoy being married and, and, and just enjoy life. I wish you both the best. I pray for an abundance of love, joy, peace, and happiness in your life. And just again, keep God first and you'll go to the top. Seeing you all uh, relationship grow uh, from the outside looking in, uh, I've seen role models and examples of what young love is and how to persevere and how to be supportive and understanding. Um, and I wish you all nothing but the best. Uh, I love you both dearly. Chastity, uh, thank you. Uh, because I know my brother. And, <laughs> and so uh, thank you for your patience. And just remember on your journey, it's never you two and the problem. It's you two versus any issue or any problem. You never turn against each other. It's y'all versus the world, all right?